I'm Dr. Cliff James with HelpMommy.com, and one of the hot topics that's all over the internet is dry drowning, which there's no such thing. You can't dry drown. What happens was there was a significant event. The kid got water into their lungs that washed out the surfactant that keeps their airways and the little air sacs open. Once that surfactant's gone, when the kid starts going to sleep or something like that, parts of the airway start to collapse and then they have problems breathing and then die during their sleep. This isn't going to happen just during the normal swimming. This is going to happen after a significant event. So if your child has been submerged and you have to pull them out, if they have coughing that lasts longer than a minute, any respiratory distress, or acting funny after they've been swimming, then it's a good idea to go see the doctor and possibly even go to the hospital. But if you've had a normal supervised swimming and your kid's been playing, there's nothing to worry about as far as dry drowning. Just remember there's about 3,500 deaths per drowning in the United States. About 10% are considered dry drowning. What that means is that they got pulled out and then afterwards they died later, not underwater. That's what's considered dry drowning. Thank you.